Welcome to my channel Swiftlan. This tutorial is how to create a DLC report with MS SQL Server database in BB.NET Windows Form application for beginners. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Start Visual Studio. Click on New Project. Windows select the location where you want to save this project bb.net project tutorial name the project rdlc report tutorial underscore project click on ok my project is created now just design this form Okay, in the, my database is crude tutorial db. You can see it's in the server explorer. You can connect if it's not connected yet. This is the table, user info tab, ID, name, address, city, sx are the column and the user info table. Show table data, these are the records, these are the data in the table. Go to the form, design this form. Let's start position the center screen, okay. At debugging. Now change the back color of this project. Back color is green. Yes, now it's looking nice. Now for the solution explorer, right click on a project, add new item. Uh, click on data in the left pan. Click on data set. The name is data set one. A data set for using the data in your application. Okay, my data set is created. Now just to drag the user info tab from the server explorer. And keep on lay uh, ID name address city age sex are added in the data set data table. Okay, now save. Go to the solution explorer again. Right click on your project. Click on add new item. Item is uh, click on reporting in the left pan and uh, click on report. You can use report wizard to design this report. I'm using report so that I can. Uh, Design this report as as my requirement. Report uh, name is user info report. Just click on add. Yes, my report is created. Now report data. If the report data is not available in the left front, and then just click on the go to view menu. Click on report data. Just click report data. Yes, it's now add in the left side okay now click on new data set just click on data set yes the, uh, now you just select the data set as data source and the available data set table is user info tab and fields are id name address id as sax just click on okay yes the data set is added in the report data okay now add header and footer you can add or you can skip you can avoid this header footer okay uh, now header and footer is added add text box to write about header my header is user information report this is the header in this report okay user information report now design this text center screen Font weight bold, font size uh, 18 feet. Pt. Okay, user information. Now add a text box in the footer. As same as header. Yes, footer text is swift learn. Okay, design it also as well. Italic and font bold true. Center screen yes now add table in the body default table uh, has three columns if you need you can add more column i'll display how i'll show you how to add more column okay id name address i have six column in my data set data table uh, in the table sql table so uh, i have to add uh, more three more column so that i can 
uh, I can display all the column in the RDLC report. Okay, address is uh, age, sex, uh, five, co four, five column. I have to add one more column. Right. Uh, yes, sex. Okay. Now. My table is done. This is the RDLC report. Now I'll display this report in a uh, BB.NET form. Design the header as green and font color. Color is white. Now select the co color. Yes, color, color. Yes. Default color is black. Select the color white. Yes, now it's looking fine. Okay. Now go to the form one. Let me be. Yes. Go to the toolbox and add report viewer where you will display the RDLC report. Resize this report. Yes. Go to the form load event. Yes, using con. I am just connecting. A database in my project in that case using con as the new SQL connection you can get crew complete crude operation insert update delete all in there uh, in this channel uh, to uh, get the link just go to the description box below okay right click on the uh, database in the server explorer and click on property here yes, this is the connection string just select the connection string and then copy the connection string and paste it in the SQL connection. Yes, now it's connected with the database. Now open the connection, con dot open using command. Now SQL command using cmd as new SQL command. My command is I am just writing the command to uh, load data in in the data table from the SQL server database table. Select a star from user info tab. Call the connection con okay the user info tab is the table name okay now data adapter dim C D A as new SQL data adapter da dot select command equal to cmd now declare data table dim dt as new data table da dot fill dd first break dd first break close ok now with me now I'll load the data in the RDLC report then finally I'll display the report in the form one the design okay now with me dot report viewer one my report viewer name is report viewer one dot local report dot data source okay data source dot first of all I'm just clearing the data source uh, at loading the report then report path my report path is uh, my report name is user information report dot rdlc copy the report name and just paste it here uh, in the report path dot data choose dot add first break new microsoft dot reporting dot in this form dot Report data source. Report data source is data set one. Just copy and paste. Report data source data set one and DT. Oh, sorry, DT is not working. Oh, I have to declare the DT data table before the uh, using uh, before the 
connection as quick connection just cut and paste it uh, out of using the uh, beginning of this form board event okay now just call the dd dd table yes now it's working okay it's done close the bags debug I uh, oh sorry an error occurred today. could not find the location oh sorry is there input dot rdlc report it's the error of the location sometimes I keep the error so that you can understand how to solve this error okay now property full path just copy the path and paste it in the report path yes it's done, then debug. Yes, it's uh, loading. Yes, all the records are displaying here. ID, name, address is all the records are displaying for pack. Okay, now change the back color. I have changed, but uh, uh, yes, it's done. How to load data based on CD? Here I have shown you all the records without any condition. Now I am adding simple condition. Uh, now the report data will load based on CD. Change the font size. Font bold true for color is white. Okay. Now level is CD level text is CD I will select the CD in the combo box in that case add item edit item item is a uh, Atlanta uh, CD is Atlanta the neighbor Chicago and uh, New York Click on OK. I have added for CD. Now add a button control from the toolbox. Yes, button control is added now. Change the text of the button. Text is uh, font size font bold true, font size 12, and text is load okay now just write this code in the button click event what uh, what I have written in the form load event just copy and paste yes now I have to, I'll change just change the uh, SQL command requirement is load data based on CT so select the start from user input of fire CT equal to uh, CT will read from, will get from combo box one dot text. Just uh, put combo box one dot text. Now report will display based on the CD. Uh, yes. Oh, sorry, it's an error. Sex the both column. I wrongly select sex. Uh, just so let's uh, rectify it. Sex is it's not sex, it will be CD and change the header CD. Okay, debug again. It's debugging, yes, it's learned. Yes, CD ID name address CD is sex CD. Okay, now it's done. Now select the CD Atlanta load. Yes, oh, sorry, there is something error. So Let's rectify this error and I'll try again. Oh, sorry. Add the report, refresh the report. Just took off this code and paste to refresh the report. Yes, media report beyond dot refresh report. Okay, debug again. Yes, select Atlanta. Okay, yes. Now it's displaying whole city here. Atlanta. It's Atlanta. Denver. Now it's displaying only city Denver, New York. There is no record in New York, so it's uh, the report displaying blank. blank. 
okay now i'm gonna uh, add a column out of the table in that case i just delete the cd and uh, insert text box this is blank text box now i'm just uh, writing the cd colon just drag and drop it in the text box okay okay now i have added the uh, column uh, out of table debug again you can design this report as well as you recommend click on denabur yes it's displaying in the denabur in the header atlanta load yes it's displaying the records based on cd atlanta 